hugely important when it comes to uh, traversing through the dark ridden world of Eclipse is uh, keeping the uh, keeping the darkness at bay uh, both when it comes to the enemies but also ensuring that your uh, spirits and bodies are uh, properly uplifted I suppose making sure you uh, throughout the journey and being constantly or near constantly harassed by various uh, creatures of the night <clears throat> that you do not suffer stress break a la darkest dungeon uh... And also that your bodies are in like um, bodies are in like good shape. Uh, so this skill challenge, I mean, I say skill, but I guess I suppose like the most extreme case, like ability to check would have also been possible. Um, this would be for either. <clears throat> either medicine or religion actually hold on uh, medicine or arcana Is that only one of us, or is that each? No, it's not a group check. Like, uh, like one person from the party takes I that role. I have a plus eight arcana. For that, uh, for the group. Dolan. Huh? Was there arcana? Wizard, make an arcana check. Uh, Come eight. on. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being talked to. There's help this you. conversation <laughs> in the background. I like, Come on. Wake up. <laughs> 21. 21. Uh, since they're rolling... Uh... Oh, shit. Can I roll medicine? Uh, I thought it, it was only one it, of them. It... Oh, yeah, it wasn't oh, really okay. yeah, okay. necessary. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, so, yeah. advantage of that, 21, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, also a success, uh, I'm gonna say, I know that in, uh, season one, basically, like, stuff like that was, like, it passed through, uh, but essentially speaking, like, you can be good at stealth, like against like individual creatures, but considering the circumstances and how it works, uh, it's less about like individual skill and more about that there are like many, many, many eyes in the dark that I would, that you would have to avoid. Uh, so like from like in specific encounters, being sneaky beaky uh, is still an option. I'm not taking that away. Uh, but for a prolonged period of time, as this journey we are talking about uh, many, many hours in turning into days, uh, maintaining um, stealth in the fact that I think it like I don't think everyone everyone has dark vision. No, I'm well, pretty sure there are some that do not have, don't have dark vision. I do not have dark vision. I, do not I dark don't vision. think Pastor do. does either, but he's also just covered in light. I can cast light for people that need it. Yeah. So with, not, I, I wasn't going with that, but be, mm -hmm. because I know you can get like sources of light, but also like the fact that on one hand you need light to keep yourselves uh, safe on one hand, because when there's light, there's no like. 
no chance for a fucking Minecraft creeper to spawn next to you and explode. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, of course, like a small, like any source of light in the sea of darkness that can be uh, spotted. Mm -hmm. Reveals our position very fucking strongly. Also, side note for while we're traveling, if we ever rest anywhere, uh, I can cast Glyph of Warding. Which is like literally a mine that I put on the ground <laughs> that explodes, um, <laughs> and I can have it so it only goes off when I specify certain creatures going over it. So I'm gonna like mm -hmm. specify undead, um, undead or at least like a non-humanoid, and I'll just All put right. them like everywhere around. <laughs> I can do yeah, four. I, I can I, do three of them, so I can do, and they're like a ten foot radius. So. <laughs> The funny part I is we can just magic like Omega and my... triple down on defense, and I can just summon yeah. a bunch of Guardians of Faith. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the, a bunch of fucking... the wards. <laughs> yeah, Ain't no one getting any. E. <laughs> no, <laughs> and I can have one of my wards uh, cast Daylight as a spell, so I can just flash bang them. <laughs> Someone going yeah, up to like relieve much. themselves at night, just <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, it turns out over the past six months or whenever we, we've just been slowly setting up a minefield of daylight spells. Yeah. Some like random ghoul crossing over it just gets incinerated <laughs> by like a million explosions. To be fair, daylight oh, yeah. spell alone doesn't like give like it, damage. It yeah, uh, but you can yeah. probably figure something out. I mean, honestly, research-wise, I, mean, I imagine like Church maybe remember the 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 Twitter thing I posted, the fucking Alan Wake super weapon, the fucking flashlight. Yeah. That's like, <laughs> like <laughs> my next spell when I get fifth level is gonna be sickening radiance, which is literally just like daylight but meaner. <laughs> daylight but it fucking hurts. <laughs> but it hurts, so it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> Oh man, like, I would have, to have that spell on Take 10,000 lumens, asshole. Fucking. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Get flashbanged, idiot. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. My light like, cleric is just like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, so what I was getting at, like, until I, unless I change my mind between the sessions and Put it down in stone. Uh, yes, sneaking during this like long journey, like it's not really feasible. Uh, so what remains is like blasting your way through, like speeding up past your like foes, outrunning them, uh, and. Uh, yeah, for this journey, not really that important, but like it's good to remember what you have to like ensure your you can like take rests uninterrupted. Uh, but of course, uh, also be aware that well, who knows? There might be some uh, some creatures out there that could potentially counter it. How is that not a cleric spell? After all, you can, like, dispel magic stuff and whatnot. Do you know how you counter that? You put banishment in a glyph of warding. <laughs> Walk up, bye! <laughs> Gives you Adios, a motherfucker! <laughs> not a potential solution. Although dispel magic, I could have sworn that's... Yeah, yeah but you'd have it's... to either upcast it or roll it. <laughs> and you'd also have to detect that the glyph is there in the first place. <laughs> well, I was mostly getting out the rage before the side like That's not important right now, so... Uh, okay, and... If the daylight spell, it's more about, like, awarding everyone. One uh, last thing. Yeah. While also triggering daylight sensitivity if the uh, creature has it. And one last thing. It's also uh, just kind of funny. Mm. I would need sadly there's there isn't really like martial skill would work for this. 
Uh, what would fall under military tactics? Just warfare. Probably in this case, I probably will have to. Probably history. Ah, okay, that's. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a I'm good, good at history. Good, good thing. Would someone like to give me advantage? Yeah, Looks essentially, fine. like this last thing is to yeah. basically see how like. Clever slash, uh... Nice. Like... Yeah, uh, proper or like... I will have, like, several options, so... Uh, to, like, deal with foes, like, cleverly, or, like, through brute force, through, and whatnot, like... Yeah, history... Works as well, so, basically... <clears throat> Dolan falling on that... He's a history no, no, Knowledge, yeah, from ancient um, mm -hmm. scrolls and uh, books. Mm -hmm. How to conduct uh, warfare, so he's able to navigate the party. So that in any kinds of like encounters that normally wouldn't really pose too much challenge, but you ensure that as minimal amount as resources is... Uh, Expand it, you do not overextend, you do not make stupid uh, uh, you do not make stupid uh, mistakes. He's definitely like an experienced war mage and he's like he knows what he's talking about. He's a nerd. Sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was not okay, that's <laughs> that's that's interesting. Also, uh, apologies for being muted sometimes because uh, right next to me, it, like my desk, is like the door to the office, and that's apparently where everyone wants to have their conversation. Is right next to the door to my fucking office. So, <laughs> sorry about that. That's perfectly all right. Like, not nothing to apologize for. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, here's what's going to happen. Uh, with all the skill checks, uh, passing through, uh, some of them, one of them, like, on the very edge, but the other were, uh, very solid. You are able to take this journey that, um, uh, even though you travel through hostile lands, you have enough advantages stacked uh, on your side, that uh, you're able to confident confidently uh, deal with any issues uh, whatsoever that might come your uh, way. Uh, see potential issues from afar and either avoid them or blast uh, straight through them, whatever is the most uh, appropriate uh, course of action. Uh, at the moment, you also ensure, thanks to the tireless uh, expert uh, work done by all of you, that uh, no organized force or any unorganized force, like any sort of like higher uh, tier, more stronger predator of the night catches your scent and follows you. Uh, nothing like that uh, <coughs> happens. Although, uh, one note for uh, Winona. 
uh, that it only happened once during this journey as like five days pass but it's only one time when you take a rest and those off uh, you get a dream that you are hiding from something inside you are inside an empty um, house that has nothing but uh, um, corridors and corners all tuning around going without beginning and then, and you know that something's stalking you in this, uh, <clears throat> in these uh, uh, corridors, and you escape, run away with your, with your, uh... sorry, my friend of thought escaped me. Uh... Yeah, no worries. Okay, from this, uh, whatever is pursuing you, uh, actually, let's see if we know now would have been able to get a, one or two more details from this uh, dream. Uh, we know please give me uh, either wisdom. Uh, actually, only yeah, because science would be too low. Yeah, you can give me a wisdom uh, saving throw. Sure. Wisdom save, coming right up. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Tan. Alright. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, sadly, like, in this in these dreams, like, we know I was focused more on, like, escaping instead of, like, trying to glean more information. Uh, the only time that she saw whatever was following her, pursuing her, um, like, it was, like... Vaguely silhouettes of a humanoid creature. Uh, not a person, but definitely a creature with... I'm indicating more like a goat head, like wicked looking horns, but again, nothing more beyond that. However, that dream only happens once actually closer towards the start of the journey after like, you know, first day worth of... Uh, uh, pulses, and then it doesn't, it doesn't happen again. Quinota would inform the party of her prophetic dream, as she has done before, except with, you know, the other one. <laughs> mm -hmm. She would inform mm -hmm. them, be like, yeah, you know, explain the, the dream and that there was a humanoid figure chasing her. So, that could definitely mean gonna, something in our future. I'm going to cast Thought Shield on you. It lasts for eight hours and it's not concentration, so I might as well. Just in case some weird fuckers are trying to read your mind, um, I'm going to keep you safe. <laughs> yeah, basically that image. Basically that image. <laughs> in an endless hall without doors, <laughs> I was chased by a floating man. <laughs> Also, it was high school, oh, and I had a presentation due the it's next so day. <laughs> and I hadn't I prepared any of it. <laughs> yep, I hadn't done anything for over a month. <laughs> it was horrible. It was also the first time I'd ever seen that class. Mm -hmm. And also, I wasn't wearing any clothes. <laughs> and all my teeth fell out. <laughs> anyway... Nothing can read your mind. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, for eight hours. Unless you willingly let them. What else? Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, hey. Let me know if anyone tries to read your mind. Because with this spell, you'll be able to tell if they're trying to read your mind, essentially. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's like um, no. it's like having a McAfee or something on your like Norton yeah. antivirus on your computer. Yeah, I got fucking antivirus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. You, as long as the spell is active, you do not feel any weird tingling in your head. So whatever that was um, doesn't seem to be connected to like reading your reading your mind. 
Ah, I'm not, I'm not the double check, but I imagine like tough, tough shield could also help you against like dream or nightmare spell if someone tried to use that on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, technically that's appearing in your mind, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the mm -hmm. uh, that's not the case. It's anti mental invader. Sorry, <laughs> <clears throat> right. uh, avoiding any extra additional issues that might be uh, dropping by. After the the journey, you are finally arriving at the at the destination, and from a distance, rather, well, not that much of a distance, uh, because well, everything being shrouded in darkness and having like limited sort of vision. But carefully approaching the location, you are able to uh, notice, start noticing first uh, structures, buildings, and upon invest longer investigation, uh, you are realizing that you are seeing the remnants remains of a, of a city. Uh, well made. Uh, buildings at least they were initially when they were like operating in their prime with uh, thick strong walls uh, every house looking like it could sustain some punishment and it wouldn't collapse like a like a house of cards uh, signs of remains of battlements of uh, palisades <clears throat> of various spent uh, traps there are scorch marks in the in the ground visual leftovers for from various traps both mundane and magical and it takes you a while but and picture paints itself in your head uh, that this uh, is a fallen uh, bastion of light and what you are seeing from the start indicates that they did not give sell their souls and skin uh, lightly and whatever assailed them they made uh, them fight for it almost every building while they most of them still stand <clears throat> the signs of destruction are quite uh, 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 quite visible. Uh, there's from time to time there are some very small, barely seen uh, specks of dried uh, blood, some drag mar dragging marks, uh, but the bodies themselves are not uh, present. Imagine that the the bodies have been long used. Uh, already <clears throat> however uh, the reason why you are currently hiding in uh, this building is that uh, while nothing was able to get on your uh, track uh, like nothing was actually following you, was able to get on your trail. Um, with all the checks and all of your abilities, um, you were able to determine that uh, something was coming up from behind you, roughly using the similar path of approach to this. Uh, into this town. Uh, so utilizing the fact that uh, you have the advantage and you have the possibility of getting a drop on it, 
if you want to, you might as well just ignore it and let it pass. Uh, you make yourself um, well hidden uh, for the time being and you would have noticed watch out Dolan you're about to explode Why does being a mage is so fucking expensive? Or a spellcaster in general. I just realized I've been muted half of this time. You just talked the last two sentences, yeah. Sorry? Oh, I thought you said something about being muted the entire time. Yeah, I will, I've been muted part of the time. I was asking something about spellcasting, and I was like, "Oh, I guess everyone's disassociating." No, <laughs> no, no. I was, I was muted. Hmm. So you would see some. You would see. You would hear a heavier pair of uh, footsteps, following by a clank of bones and heavy metal. And metal fuck you. through the larger uh, hole down the path, you'd notice a large um, humanoid uh, figure with wicked looking horns um, on it. With it doesn't look your uh, way, but you can swear no not you can swear but <laughs> most of you have like solid enough passive perception to uh figure out that um, there's something like very small perhaps a symbol of some kind or maybe inscribed engraved rune onto its skin um uh, something glowing on its Forehead. <clears throat> uh, going with a yellow color. Obviously, it's not like a strong glow to light up the area, but it is there. And uh, and we know now. Uh, obviously, that's not noticing that for a brief moment, you have like a. Uh, not like a migraine, onset of migraine, but uh, punk of like, like someone jabbed a nail into your head for a brief moment, and then that's that feeling is gone. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> and then you realize that after following that creature are uh, pretty much what can only be described as uh, armored skeletons. So oh, I know what that token is. Armored in oh, a no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Yikers. That was worse, bitch. We have those. It, 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 I've actually it, it never doesn't, fought one of these. It doesn't have the CR you think it has. Okay. Yeah, five no. glad. five feet tools allows to adjust the CR. Wonderful. I was like, oh, a CR 20. Okay. <laughs> Shadow out though. here ready to make us cry. What the fuck? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, because of the successful so. text beforehand, you didn't need to roll anything to like hide, and it's pretty much party's choice if you just allow this to pass through, or do you try to get a drop on them? 
I'll like whisper to everyone and be like, I can like lift the doors, entrances. To be fair, some yeah. of these like things do not have like walls, they're like massive holes. Yeah, but it's still like a small choke point. Is yeah. the phone. It's more like putting a mine in the entrance mm, rather yeah. than closing the door kind of situation. Yeah. Breaching charge. Um, that I will say, I am very open to just blasting them off too. I look at everyone else. I'm He's... bored of just walking. <laughs> Dylan's like, I'd rather honestly not fight them. But oh, it I, is I, I... dangerous for them to be around while we investigate. Hmm. Association time? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Dolan's <laughs> like, I can I can pat, like put a sigil and then banish the big one. We beat the little guys, bring him back. Like whole thing. That sounds I mean, pretty it good. worked in the mine, so I don't see why it won't work again. It's just it's like fucking grease bits. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is not grease. This is explosive yes, mine. It's like grease. Very different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still funny, but very different. Yeah. All right. Then, do we want to do that? Looking at Rikomo, the only other sentient person who hasn't spoken, and also Derp. How do you guys feel? The character, uh, I would presume. Right, I don't know. Honestly, now that I think about my character, I don't. I don't know if they actually. If we're out you in the to, world, you, you I don't think they care. Pastor, like, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like, pastor, do you want to? Do you want to um, blast or do you want to not blast? I would much prefer we rid the world of these creatures. All right, a little genocidal, yeah. but we can do it. <laughs> this is why he's my friend, points at Robert. This is my okay, friend, right there. Dolan's like, you guys are a fucking mess. <laughs> we survived uh, this long, let me Dolan. Give my son, 60 foot. Um, <laughs> and, oh, I guess we can read the accents now. As much as Pastor is malfunctioning, he does still have protocols. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, so... so they were like here, right? Or have they moved completely past? I think they went around clockwise. No, they, they, you, you, yeah, heard, like... you, you heard them moving in this direction. In this direction? Oh, okay. they uh, Then I. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to action uh, if we can do ready to action. So is that okay? Mm, that's right. You pretty much have the. Like the, you can get a drop on them and you can like set the field to your advantage. Right, I'm Is this cast... a... Oh, go ahead. Okay. No, no, you go ahead. I'm going to cast Big Explosion Rune. <laughs> and it's going to be <laughs> here, right there. I'm cast Captain. And it's, it goes off if uh, a... Actually, I'm not going to cast it there. One moment. Let me, let me move it a bit. I'm going to move it so it's like here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move my character as well so I can I can actually see it. Like right there. And then it's gonna go like right 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 there. Perfect. Alright. Get rid of that. Um because it's a twenty foot radius sphere uh explosion, so I'm just gonna warn everyone, like, don't go near that. <laughs> By the way, don't go near that. Uh <laughs> uh I I'm going to have it be um kind of damage we'll go with fire damage we'll go with fire damage trusty, you know? trusty, trusty, old, trusty old fire, fire damage, damage. Mm. Uh, and I'll have it set to go off if an undead steps on it and that will be my action um, bonus action I'll help action on pastor with Be my fey interest uh, so I'm gonna give us some temp HP I think. Right. Let me see, let me see what kind of what kind of funny thing I want to give you. 
Now, I'll give you spite. So the first time you hit a target with an attack roll, that target that you hit has disadvantage on the next attack roll they make. Cool. So I'm All right, I'm gonna, pre I'm gonna prepare a fifth level guiding bolt. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> sounds about right. That sounds like pastor right there. It's a pastor move right there. <laughs> Uh, that's my whole thing, so... Uh, should we send Ember out to make them come that way? Because the rest of us all probably will ready in action to attack yeah. these things, right? Ibram is gonna move, like, up here, yeah. Like, up, okay. up here, I'll... because then when he, they come at him, he can, like, you yeah. know, be in... Be in... Be I'll... without in range, but, like, also in range. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ready, uh, my spell polarity bolt in case one of those skeletons comes. Right. Um, Ibrim will hold an action just to yell and just to draw their attention, just to yell and shout when everyone's ready. I want to scream and shout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they, these creatures, do not have definitely... like good perception. So yeah, very possible. Blast. Like even with Pastor blasting light right. and Ibrim stepping out, they would have not noticed. So like. You actually like, need to attract attention. Dolan will like yeah. go back here. I'm gonna go. Oh, don't, don't worry. Even if they don't hear the scream, they will feel a bullet to their through their face. Mm -mm. Dolan's just gonna stand behind Ibram. It's like the safest place to be most of the time. Yeah. So I'll also warn you guys: like it's a big explosion, so maybe Rekomo don't stand there because you're actually in the blast. <laughs> ah, okay, that's good to know. I'm, I'm your <laughs> blast goes through walls. I mean, who, who it's a very there? small wall between you and the blast. To be fair, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you might get caught. I don't know. <laughs> DM ruling at that one. I, I well, that's the thing. I know in PF2E walls block area effects. Does that? now work in 5e and foundry i don't know there are some of it, yeah usually like you can set it in settings that it can block basically fluff wise in this case how i described the buildings is that in the current setting it will be enough to like there will be like a shockwave going on the building will rattle but i'll show you how the, big it would be it you, would be you'll be you'll be fine it'd be this big oh, for everyone definitely not yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 you're I'm good. good. I'm stupid. <laughs> no, you're fine. You were yeah, you're counting is... from the square sides as, as yeah. opposed to the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone is. But this yeah. is how big it would be for everyone, everyone to. Good. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. Yep. Yeah. That's not so bad. <laughs> I did know. Oh, yeah, each of us should roll for this shit. Yeah. yeah, we should do that. Huh? Indeed. Uh, eh, that's not, not bad. bad for once. <laughs> oh, no. How the heck? Oh. oh yeah, he rolls advantage every time. Mm -hmm. Sasa, do you want to like place your little guy, get your little cannon out and stuff? Yeah, I was waiting for everyone to finish. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. You didn't. Say Honestly, I was making a oh, hand shit. and I was just. I didn't roll under ten. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That's right. pretty good. That's earlier. Yeah. I was um. Pizza. Okay, so right before they do that. Will can we do ready actions or can I like prepare my turret and then ready an action? Before turn order started, people were doing their like setup prepared actions, so you can do your okay. turret. Uh yeah, then I'll just activate my 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 turret and I'll ready an action to fucking blast the closest target. And I will. I don't think I'd be able to get well. away with uh, placing down the Guardian Faith, then readying action. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't think. I don't. Oh, my, my readying action is preparing to cast Guardian of Faith. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just put more uh, walls between uh, also, us Lily, and you need to the group. Roll the initiative. If they try attacking oh, us, okay. I could place down a flame wall to stop them. I can just banish. <laughs> yeah, I can also. You don't need banish a wall if they're not there. Work. Yeah, <laughs> I can also banish if yours doesn't work. So plan. I think you'll triple banish. Of the uh, banishment going off than I do. 
Yeah, you have the thing that you give disadvantage, right? Ah, uh, you survived uh, Banish weapon? 1, but can you survive 2 through uh, 4? Actually, you guys <laughs> just reminded me of something. Mm-hmm. Aren't vampires the one thing that have good charisma saves? These are not vampires. These are not vampires. No, 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 yes. no, no. I'm yes, saying alluding to... Yes. I'm saying I'm alluding yes. to further characters like Beckett. That we yes, right. but also saves. consider yeah. this, I can mind sliver them beforehand. Okay. Yeah, mind slivering is quite nice. So... I specifically brought Mind Sliver, so I can Mind Sliver and then Quicken Spell Banishment. Yep, right away. And fuck him up. <laughs> mm. Omega fuck him up. Yep, yep. Um, so well, what you need to do is get a single, uh, two levels of fighter so you can Mind Sliver if it fails. Action Surge Mind Sliver again. And then Quicken <laughs> Spell. <laughs> I'm good. I think I'm good on that front. Um, but Ibram will yell at them no, and be like... Asos. Oh, well, Ibram's held action was to yell whenever everyone oh, was done. So he'll yell when everyone was done. Uh, so, like, come at me! And he, like, readies his, his weapons and gets all ready for combat to get the attention of the undead. That's his held action. I did prepare, I did prepare my thing. Also, I was gonna say, so, if Pastor has the thing on your weapon that you give, what was it, disadvantage or something like that? Yeah, 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 um... Do they roll? Yeah, so, uh, I was given spite, so if I hit my Guiding Bolt, the enemy has disadvantage on their next attack. Alright, so if you do that on the big guy, and then we banish him... Hello, welcome. We're about to start a combat. Yeah. We are? Yeah. Well, I've come to inform you that I am committing to the fact that I won't be there tonight. Yeah, that's okay. So, sorry, a lot of stuff's coming up. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All right. Bye, have fun, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Well Well, the attention of the creatures has been grabbed, but it's not their turn yet, so... Right mm -hmm. now, they only pause in their movement and will starting to turn, uh, turn about. So, uh... Sasa. Yes, sir! Now. Wait, I don't see them. What are they? Do you have dark vision? I thought they were here. No, they're like up here in the darkness. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There's like this one pixel of wall here. Yeah. That blocks vision for me. Even though I'm all the way over here. Do you have dark vision? I don't think that will matter right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really one piece, so it's like, there is a wall here. Or I meant, like, here. However, there are no walls, like, in this direction, well, I so... I that won't work. Uh, never mind. I'll just go, I'll move, I'll move over here. Can I stand there? Yeah, that is a place. I'll yeah, just I'm gonna be here, and I'll hold my action, like I uh, stated before, until their turn. Mm, all right. Uh, can I do, like, an action to, um... Well, actually... No, he has no dark vision either. Can I, uh, he... Can I, like, roll intimidation strength-based or something where I can, like... Try to get their attention so they run directly at me. <laughs> mm, you can attempt to. Alright. Oh my god. Nice! <laughs> yeah, well, definitely, definitely taunted. Nice. Uh, come and get me. <laughs> come and fucking get me. Elephant like sound of. Mm hmm Uh, he'll runic might, uh, so he'll grow to fucking be biggest. 
three by three update. <laughs> Big. <laughs> mm. Okay. Sorry, I had to step away. What happened to Captain? Uh, big. Oh. Rune might. <laughs> I mean, no, he, no, 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 no. He did no. step by, but like only to uh, inform that he will not be able to come mm. by even for a moment. All right. Yeah. Uh, anything else for Ibram? Uh, that is his turn. All right. Okay. In, in case there are any like prepared actions, like. Feel free to like interrupt me when. Uh, be, like, I I, I can't see anything, so I can't do it. It's all cool. Um, I guess I go over here. I don't see anything. I mean, not yet. There are some. And I'm not gonna go into the uh, thing like a like a fool. So I guess I'll just slink on by. Oh, uh, can I? Can I make myself go back five feet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go right here. That's the thirty feet. Okay, I see one of these guys. I've just I target them. Actually I'll target that one. I do the spell. Uh let me just check the range on this one just so I know it's right. Oh okay, it's sixty feet. It's advantage because they have they have armor on, yes. Like metal armor. They have armor, yes. The skeleton. The classic. Yes. That's, yeah, I just wanna make sure. Classic heat metal move. Oh, polarity bolt! What the fuck? Ha -ha! Observes. Ah, that, oh, let me uh, post in chat so you know what mm, this one is. Uh, yeah, yeah, the one that I have this, yeah, this this little guy up here. Oh, the middle one. Interesting. Okay. And then uh, there, no, it takes ten. Eighteen to hit. Actually, twenty-six to hit. Uh, I presume it does. <laughs> twenty-six does hit, but. Wait, 21. Oh, okay, 26 and 21. Uh, yeah, both both of them hit. Okay, it does 10 lightning damage. And then that's that's my turn. <laughs> Alright, and lightning. Yee. Well, they are attacked from the side, and uh, so I come and step into this, like, uh, destroyed building from deeper within. He suddenly hears... The like, <gasps> there seems to be some sort of like occupants the, of the undead kind. I didn't pass I away. think I found someone else. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in my house? <laughs> yeah, actually, if uh, it ain't the classic wraith, hip. my old enemy. Yeah. Dude, I live here. What are you doing in my place? <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, what like, the get the fuck? fuck out. What are you doing? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, this is awkward. I carry a lot of shit. If that thing lowers my strength, I, it's going to be just like that first fight. <laughs> or that first you're just, you just immediately you're like, alert, lowers sir. your strength and you just fall over because you can't even hold up the weight of all your yeah, shit. Yeah, like, I'm carrying well... 126 pounds. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I might change my plan. <laughs> Your turn, Winona. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll step forward so I can get the the main people. So I can just move forward so I can actually get Raycomo, and I'll uh, cast Bless on our big hitters of Ibram, Raycomo, and Pastor. <laughs> Blessed. Bless. This mess. All right, so uh, right, come up, Pastor, and uh -huh. Ibram, right? Yeah. Yep, just them. You are blessed. Patrick Swayze, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, uh, bless um, that all. Sorry, what was that? That all for your turn? Yep, yep. 
Yep, that's all. That's all I. That's all I <laughs> wanted to do since Rekoma went off by himself. I'm like, okay, let's get this right. bless off early. I wanted it, but. <laughs> Alright, so thing is going to be happening because this one obviously the talent works, so it will be. I think it's move action. Uh, how far it can get? Actually, it will have to like spend double moves, like full round action of like. Running mm -hmm. towards Ibrahim. Uh, going like that, so tell me what's, what's happening because I don't re recall when this thing activates. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't activate yet. Alright, mm -hmm. very good. Alright. Yeah, so it goes at Ibrahim. And actually, wait, it double moves so it cannot do it. Yeah. All right. Uh... <sighs> yeah, the. I think which. It's gonna. <laughs> I think there's. Close a... enough. There's an intruder and it's a boat. Using less than a half of its 60 feet flying speed. Uh, we'll come up and like... <gasps> like a... Almost like a Dementor like... Hovering... Above Rikomo and... Trying to... Drain the... Life out of him. Is this just a save or is it a hack? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, ah. you are actually in this thing. You are thinking about shadows. Shad the basic shadows have like strength drain, and uh, this one doesn't have strength drain. This one has reduced maximum hit points. That's even worse because I have the lowest HP. I think. <laughs> no, I think you. No, uh, I do. I have fifty. Okay, I was gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have fifty. <laughs> I mean, because, because Sasa we has break. like forty something. Uh... Okay. Yeah, you're not that squishy. You're good. <laughs> Anyways. Ah! Oh yeah. my god. That so bad. Yeah. yeah, so your hit point maximum is not reduced, but I take it 21 still hits you or not? A 21's gonna hit like every one of us, I think. Right. Yeah, also, it hits it from two. <laughs> by the way, my, 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 my action goes off because the fucking creature got into vision. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, go ahead. I can see the bitch. Yeah, so right, come on, get hit for 18 points of. I thought it, I thought it would have the button. Damashu. Yeah. Okay, I, wrong button. I mean, to be fair, I do yeah. see. Yeah, the fucking they changed something with the macro, so now you have to like uncollapse the menu, it. and oh, maybe that's only on my end. Uh, oh, you're right. No, no, you're right. That's that's what you have to do. Huh. Anyways, uh. Yeah, Sasa, go ahead with your, like, prepared thing. Yes, sir. Time to damage this bitch. Normal. Die! Alright, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Dolan. Hi. Um. Um. Erm. I'll go down. I'll go down. It's fine. Erm. <laughs> can I see it from here? No, I can't. Um. Where oh. the fuck? Oh, wait, I can see from here. Okay, perfect. All right, awesome. Uh, oh. I'm going to cast Mind Sliver on the big boy. Please. So let me roll that. Okay. I'd like him to make an int save, please. <laughs> okay. What the laugh? Nice. <laughs> okay, on, your ne on his next saving throw, he has to minus a 1d4. So, <laughs> that takes four and then I'm gonna move. Damage. I'm gonna move over here. 
Uh, so Raikomo is in my, yeah, in my aura, so I can hit everyone and uh, help everyone out. That'll be my turn. Mm, all right. I'm sorry, what aura I might have? I probably missed that. Uh, my my ward. You see the temp HP I have? I can give oh, that to right. other people. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's a thirty foot radius. I you did have that before. Okay. So how much we? How much? I don't. No, it's just when you get hit, I can reduce your damage yeah. by my ah. shield. Yeah. Alright, so a store. Are you back with us, Derp? I could have sworn you said you were back. Derp. Can I do I something because I forgot to do something, man? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh this I could have done as my reaction. I'm sorry. So he makes a save that is DC equal 12 plus 2 mil. Okay, so that was wisdom. So it'll be like, it'll be a DC 16, and I can push him away. For the right, right. Okay, it failed. Okay, he takes 15 damage. And I'll get shot into the wall back here in the corner. Well, I, I mean, not in the square. Well, as much as in the square as you can, but you know. Even if he only goes here, I'm fine with that. But yeah, thank you. That's right, it's suddenly blasted away. Uh... Sorry about that. Well, it's your yeah. turn, Derp. Okay. Alright. Um Oh, I forgot about the prepared action. Um Let me just do that real quick. Shoot this fucking tiny little guy with the power of a nuclear bomb. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't see him, so it's gonna be the one that's barely injured. Um. Guiding bolt level fifth. Consume spell slot. Cast spell. Attack. Advantage. Yep, that hits. Cool. Ah, oh, that's cool effect. And damage. Normal hit, yeah. Yeah, that's that's not a crit. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. <laughs> Injury. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> they are they are not vulnerable to radiance, so just regular damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't um, kill them outright, but... <laughs> and then... That does hurt. Since... that That's the prepared action. I just forgot yep. to do it. Um, uh, do I know that uh, Raikamo is being attacked? Or uh, am I just fully unaware of that? I don't think anyone would have saw him get attacked, yeah. Okay. All right, then, uh, Pastor is going to be, like, taking step forward to here to take a... Actually, wait, that's in range. Yeah, that's the radius of the fucking wall. <laughs> yeah, just going to be right outside of it, really just on the edge. Um, And then he's going to do this. If I put, like... A marshmallow and a stick at the edge of the explosion. Like, <laughs> like a roasted marshmallow or like a completely fucking burnt marshmallow. It's just a pile of <laughs> on the ground. Uh, yeah. And then for the actual attack, gonna do this. Uh, oh, wait, that's slightly. Oh, I did not mean to place it, but did it. Wait, it didn't. Oh. Huh? Alright, there we go. Just gonna hit those two. And also the the big creature as well. Yeah, also, uh, um, uh, let me just look at your spell. 
Okay, normally uh, derp, if you do like circle spells and stuff, they're at a cross point. So you actually could go further in and yeah. But... Oh, okay. Um, sure. Why not? Let's move that oh! to right. This one goes oh, on out. natural yeah, twenty. It goes at the cross point. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And then the big guy. Uh, okay, the big, the big guy failed. So, Ro rolls Rolling damage. Damage. So what? eighteen. Huh? All right. So what happened? This one. Oh, eighteen. Buy. This one go for half. The success, and then this one apply. What? Oh, right, because it has uh, resistance to fire. Oh, and, neat. But then it's still... Okay, oh. technically... And it's still like... No, nah, it's something fucked with the macro, because resistance is like half. Yeah. Maybe, maybe with the settings. Yeah. Uh, so it would be nine. The uh, the fire damage is twelve and the radiant is six. I rolled four ones. Oh nine. wait, no, it actually it then actually did it correct. Then actually did it correct. Look at all those ones. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it could have been better. Okay, yep, that is a leveled spell. Do I have anything I can do for bonus action? Nope. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's Pastor's turn. Yeah. All right, so this one will also spend both actions of getting to Ibram because of the pound. Oh. oh. And that natural twenty. And then, uh, wait, hold on, does the big guy has reach? Yeah, it has, so. Then the big guy. 40. Yeah, move action. I was like, boom. Really important question. It's stepping into my reach, correct? It's stepping into within my 10 feet of reach. Yes, I get to make a reaction attack because it's um, time. Yeah, reaction wow. attack. Explosion. <laughs> Explosion. I'll post it again. One moment. Yeah. There you go. No, I'll can just everyone? Explosion. Can everybody do deck saving throw? And that thing has a minus four to its saving throw. The big boy. So I have to make a deck saving. No, throw. you're not in no. the circle. <laughs> Yes, because Church would put you purposely in their bomb. Yeah, fuck you, actually. Uh, Sounds like something funny. Church would do. Okay, so that's for them. Really actually, Let's fucking I, I, go. Actually, I'm not even gonna bother with running D4 because it's rolled natural uh -huh. one. And then that's I get, uh, if it doesn't go down with the bomb... 22 damage. Wow. Well. Right, it's so... fire damage. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I should use acid. Yeah. Acid, like no, almost nothing's re immune to acid. No, well, no, no. Okay, <laughs> I mean, so we don't usually them, go against golems and shit. One so of like, them succeeded. Uh, it White for, like, a thing? big bug, you know, yeah, yeah, that's immune yeah. to poison. I'm not sure. Can you do, can you do a bludgeoning? I no, it has to be oh. mad. No. Oh, no. This well, one no, also uh, failed. I didn't know if you were type of wizard. What about lightning damage? I I can't do that. I can do lightning damage. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a lore wizard that can change uh, the okay. element. Gotcha. Yeah. So what's oh, the damage type? Sorry. It was fire. fire. Fear. Okay. Choosh. Fire is Your. resistance, so it's gonna take eleven. Sag. Well, it's still well, good. Well, damage still good damage. AOE. <laughs> yeah. yeah what, I mean, it uh, hit basically yeah. all of them. So. Yeah. What uh, what damages is it resistant to? It's resistant to fire. Very good. Well, also, hee hee ha ha, it's stepped within my 10 foot reach. I would like to make my halberd attack him. 
Also, didn't you just say that you couldn't come in? <laughs> no, no, no. Was I, I hallucinating? Well, circumstances <laughs> changed very rapidly for me. That's fair. Uh, so I will be using my feature that is known as... Not, Sentinel, right? It's either... It's Polearm Master. Mm. Sentinel is the one that makes it so that if they move five feet within your reach, you can hit them. When a creature with the creature, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, guys, and then it's when you. I have something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it allowed me to pull on master opportunity attack one reaction. Let me get it for you. When a creature within five feet of you, blah blah blah. No, when you're wielding a grave howard pike p- creatures provoke an opportunity to attack when they enter the reach you have with that weapon that's pulling yep, there it is so yep, yep, yep. roll the thing you're good yeah i just wanted to verify 100 percent had that yeah you're good or i did something anyways alt target <laughs> opens up character sheet because i closed it like a stupid big head it's me And then, no, nah, that should. Well, let me double check one thing. I'm I don't doing... think as an attack of opportunity you get two attacks. It only does like one attack. Yeah, no, it's just an attack. It is. In addition, when you hit a creature with an attack, you, you can invoke. There is no. It says no action on it, so I can invoke my fire rune for free. So it if must make... Is your fire rune an on hit ability that is done by a reaction or something? It's an on-hit ability. D&D Beyond specifically states that Fire Rune requires no action other than as long as I hit. Okay. So, uh, DC 16 Strength Saving Throw, and I did hit. Okay. Strength Saving Throw coming right up. It will still take... well, that was kind of a waste because it's resistant to fire damage, but it's, yep. it'll take half 2d6 fire damage because that'll come with the on hit. I mean, it's and still damage, just... that's whatever. Yeah. So. yeah. Damage and that, is damage. That minus d4 was already spent on that previous. Well, I that's actually 12, added honey. a one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little bit. Huh. And it made, it made the right, it made the exact same numbers you would have gotten with the first 2d6, anyways. Okay, so that's resistance Actually, save, so that's gonna number. be like one point of damage. So it can get lower than one. All right, that was your uh, reaction. Reaction, and now this fucking thing goes with multi attack. And also to explain why now you can see the yellow aura, because now that creature has turned towards you, everyone that's facing it can see on its forehead clearly. Uh, balefully glowing with yellow uh, rune that doesn't seem like any rune you have ever seen before. Something that gives you like bad headache just looking at it. Uh, rune of a tongue that none of you uh, speak it. Oh man, not abyssal. No, oh, that's yeah. not an abyssal. Nor infernal, no. nor celestial. Again, I'm absolutely sure that none oh, of you no. have that language. Is it deep speech? No. Oh, okay. okay, because I was going to say, that's just a native language to me. <laughs> I forgot about my big D8 damage, so there was one extra damage in there, sorry. No, it's just me. So many damage attacks. Multi attacking. This is a problem. Oh, Finger of Doom. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, no, none of you guys read Toriko, right? Okay. No. Damn it. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, it's, it's going to try to smack you. Smacky Brem. 
Let's see if I can actually hit. I'm pretty sure I do. So I need to make a con saving throw? Uh, yeah, because it's smacked you. Okay. And, all right, here we go. Did I have 19? You succeeded. So your hit point maximum is not reduced. Uh, but yeah, you still take the damage. Is it necrotic specifically? Yes, indeed. Okay, so. And then, yeah, as like it smacks you, then with its second hand, like points a finger, and yeah, it's gonna use this uh, at you. That's a that's a big range. I'm resistant a long to. Finger. I'm. I have advantage on anything that would force me to become frightened. So do I have advantage on that saving throw? Yep. Okay. I think it makes it safe. Wisdom save. Yeah. I don't need advantage. I'm good. You are good. But